Hello, welcome back to Minecraft. We're playing on the new snapshot, and I'm not using my texture pack. Now, I have something to ask you guys actually about the texture pack. Should I stop using the texture pack, or should I, you know, keep updating it every freaking week and using it for this? I'm, I'm tempted to go back to the default texture pack. Okay, I'm in the nether looking for those new skeleton things. There's a zombie pigman in the lava there. I don't know if you can just see his arm at the top, top of my crosshair. <laughs> what a dumb... Oh, there his arm. Arm is like... <laughs> what a dumbass. Uh, so, yeah. I'm looking for those skeleton things because I want to fight a wither boss because I want a beacon block. I want everything. But I don't know where they, they spawn or, you know, whatnot. So I'm kind of... I rumored, rumored that they spawn in strongholds, uh, fortresses even, so we're in our fortress. I don't know if you guys have even seen all of this thing before. But this is the one that we have, you know, the one that the blaze farm is in. It's uh, in one of the tunnels. But I mean, I don't see any of them anywhere. So I don't know, I guess I'll, I'll do some more research and, you know, look up where and how they spawn. And, yeah, do some stuff about them. I haven't actually done anything since the last episode because I had college yesterday and um, when I got home I was helping my dad out with stuff all evening so I didn't really get much time to you know to do some stuff so yeah sorry about that also good news I've ordered a new microphone uh, I ordered the blue snowball it's on its way it should be well not really on its way it should be here in like three or four days so next few episodes I'll get it maybe should be here like Wednesday or something so I should have it for Wednesday's episode if not then we will have it for Friday's episode yeah I also got a uh, pop filter and shock mount it cost me a hundred and three pounds yeah expensive whatever anyway uh, I have no idea where the heck these guys are but yeah, apparently I need to kill like loads of the damn things to get, you know, get the drops. I need to look up more on where they spawn. Which I think I might do that in a second, actually. All right, I'm actually going to go and uh, do a little bit of research and see if I can find out how and you know how to get them to spawn or how they spawn or whatever. And uh, I'll be back in a few. Okay, so apparently they spawn in other fortresses. Um, well, yeah. I haven't seen one. <laughs> Game's trolling me, I tell you. It is trolling me hard. Right. Let's have a look around here, shall we? Yeah, there isn't much here. I wouldn't mind just finding like a couple of them and getting some skulls off them. Which is kind of the you know the only reason I'm here is because I want a skull. Although I'll have a quick we'll, we'll we'll keep scanning this area see what we can find see if anything spawns. And uh, what I will, I just want to drop a torch on that that would be stupid. What we will do then is I will go and uh, AFK the the skelly farm for a little bit. I'll AFK my zombie spawner for a little bit and I'll see if I can get some of the other heads. You know so we can uh, be a skeleton or something. I've always wanted to be one of those. <laughs> Yeah, also there's a carrots on a stick now, which I think I might do. I think we have a saddle. I don't know. I guess we could screw around with that or something. Um, ugh. But yeah, I do want a beacon block. Because then if we, do, we have like large digging projects, I can uh, I can put it in the area. Oh, hey, look at that. I've never seen one of those before. It's the magma slime. The big one. Yeah, we can use the beacon block and put on haste, and then we can you know, dig quick. Die. Oh, he just jumped on my face. <laughs> Die. But yeah, what I will do when we get the chance to spawn the wither boss is, of course, I will record the execution of a wither boss. Because I think that one's going to be a fun fight. And uh, we will have a look. Uh, well, I don't know where where to place the thing to start with. Um, I think we might bring it to the end or somewhere not near our house so it doesn't get destroyed by it. 
Because if I put it anywhere near the house, he will go and rape all of our mobs. Like all of the, you know, of our, our farm animals that we have, you know, the cows, the chickens, and, well, I don't know if he will get the chickens, he shouldn't be able to see them, but, uh, I spawned one on a creative world a moment ago and actually just attacks, uh, not friendly, <laughs> um, how do I explain it? It also attacks, uh, hostile mobs as well, like if it was shooting spiders and skellies and, oh my god. So I could attempt to build one in a contained area, but then he'll just destroy the contained area. So... Yeah, this is the, uh, you know, strong, uh, this, the fortress. And, uh, we go this way. I blocked off the, the dead ends, just, oh, I just put a pillar there, so I can still go through, but I know it's a dead end. So we run all the way back down here, which is definitely the way. We can get to familiar places. And when I say familiar, I mean there's another portal. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you this either. Since I guess while we're we're here, I can show you this. Um, if we get just over here, this is the oh, I guess I haven't turned it off properly. <laughs> yeah, that's the other uh, blaze spawner. So yeah, that's pretty good. Right, so what I will do now is I will go and AFK our Skelly farm for a tad. Uh, maybe go and do something or something. Um, see if I can get some, uh, well, get a skeleton skull so that we can put that on and look awesome. <laughs> so, oh, hello! What are you doing here? Oh, there's two of them here. <laughs> okay. I'm assuming they walk through the portal. Come here. Ow! That's not very nice. No gold? <laughs> Evil. This is uh, how we're doing with supplies right now. Efficiency 4. Efficiency 4. Yeah, we got some more tools to replace. That. I guess that would be good against uh, the Wither Boss, I think. Because he's undead. Um, yeah. I hear a zombie, and I'm wondering where he is. Anyway, so I'm going to go and uh, go to the Skelly Farm for a tad. Uh, I'll be back. And, oh wait, as well, there's one thing I'm going to do before I do go, is craft a uh, damage potion so I can just kill them quicker. I will get back to you when we have some skeletons ready to be executed. Okay, I think a hundred should be enough-ish. <laughs> um... Yeah, I remember that it's instant health and not damage that you need. Oh, that was less laggy than it normally was. Did we get any? No, we didn't. Oh, I only got one bow. Normally I get like 30 bows. As you can clearly see. Oh wow, this is a lot of experience. Get out of here. Ah, we didn't get a skeleton cap. That sucks. Anyway, let's go back. Hurt, 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 hurt. I did, yeah. So... I wonder how many iron golems collected up. While we were, uh... Waiting there. Twenty? Is only twenty? That can't be right. Wow. I hope this thing still works. If I can hear one coming now. Only twenty-five. There's three hundred entities exactly in in my. Oh, no. Okay. Die. Yeah, that's. That's enough, I suppose. Anyway, let's carry on. So, stuff added in this update are the the, the sticks with the carrots on them, the the withered skeleton thingies, um, the mob heads. Oh, there's loads of other really awesome stuff as well. Uh, 
we got pigs will drop saddles if they're wearing them now. Um, all sorts of really, really awesome stuff. So yeah, I want opinions from you guys. Uh, should I go to the default texture bank, which I don't know. It's nice, I suppose. I might do a couple of uh, customizations like my own font because this font's just horrible. Or we could, you know, yeah, <laughs> use our own. Right, let's go and grab our wood supplies, which are here. Yeah, it's not a lot, actually. I'm going to have to get some more uh, sandstone supplies. Uh, yeah. Give me a freaking sandstone. <laughs> and sand. Uh, what else did I need? Um... I think that's it. Uh, do I need any wool? Do I? I suppose we could. No, I don't need wool. No. Nope. Uh, we have plenty of food. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I need lots of wood, which means it's tree farm time. So I gonna talk for a part of this and I'm gonna do the rest of it off camera because yeah and well, we do have some wood in here so I have some obsidian which I'm gonna need for the creation Ooh, I want that for the creation of our beacon block whenever we can get the freaking thingy majigger to do it if we really wanted to we could use the wither boss and uh, make it an infinite cobblestone generator from uh, I think panda released a video uh, one of the members of jail server Released a video on uh on the matter. Oh, at least this thing still works. My sapling supply supply is actually going to rise. This is so cool. Funny thing is, is that <laughs> yeah. You kind of get the idea of how insane this is. So yeah, we, what we could do is we could make an infinite cobblestone generator. Because, you know, we need lots of cobble. So, could be worth it, I suppose. Then, of course, we need to get, like, six wither skulls. And, you know, hope it doesn't backfire and kill everything. Shouldn't do. Uh, let's see what else. Should, what else could we do? Well, we can have the beacon block kind of near our stuff. I think I might put it in the middle of the house to start with, so I can have a speed buff, so we can kind of get around the the platform better. Uh, and obviously, when we get a few more, we can set them up to give us different things. Like for example, I probably have I'd have haste on when I want to do like. Dig, well, I want to dig out a massive area so I can dig it even quicker than normal. Like haste with a, if you can get an efficiency five tool, like oh, insta mine stone, it's pretty decent. And of course, the pyramids at full size have pretty beast range. All right, I got fifteen more saplings to go. This is going to be a short episode today, hopefully. So I'm probably going to end up not too long now, but. I probably go over more. I, I say every episode, I want to do a short episode. Yada yada yada. And then I end up making like a 30 minute video, so. Whatever. <laughs> it doesn't bother me because it doesn't take a super long time to upload. I mean, it takes something like. Two hours. Yeah, we got three extra sampling uh, there. I think it takes about 200 minutes, which is like almost four hours close to anyway. Actually. Yeah, it's about almost four hours most of the time. And obviously with processing and all that stuff. So, how much of this did I fill with a stack of bone meal? Oh, I had like one more row to go. Sweet! Um, I don't have any ender pearls on me. Let's go get some of those. Yeah, the skeleton farm, there's a hundred skellies in there. Uh, those potions definitely make it easier. I might change the blaze farm to run on potions as well, so I can get super like every single time. Because half the time they die like 
maybe well i i get like maybe 50 in there and when i've crushed them it's like 30 or you know 35 it's like ah oh. so it's like poison potions and damage and or i think it's instant health or damage with blaze i don't know but you know i'm I'm at, I'm at the stage where i can quite wow that tree grew high i can quite literally sustain uh production of said materials that we're going to need you know and if, if obviously i don't have the materials i can quite literally just produce them do you know what would be really awesome if that beacon block could do have like a mob repellent because then you can build like mob safe areas and then if you you know you were clever enough you'd set loads of them up in the nether or something you could have a massive mob proof area where you could then build sections where you could have like pigment farms and oh, infinite gold that'd be great then you could have infinite invisibility potions and infinite golden apples. Oh, we should totally do one of those sometimes in the future. That's, that'd be a big project for us. Wow. Yeah, that would be a big project. I do have a huge lava lake, right? Like, in the middle of the, uh, well, actually, right really, really close to our place. So what I could do is I could just, like, make that spawn safe and then we can have a pigment farm there god that'd be cool like lots of gold from that and i'd say i'd stop recording and do this but i'm i'm in the mood to talk so yeah does anyone have or had a, a blue snowball before um if you have tell me if it's any good <laughs> i mean i've already bought it you know i bought it off amazon i bought the the shock stand or the the shock mount, I think it's called. Um, and I also picked up the pop filter. So my audio quality should be super, super sweet in a few days' time. Hopefully. I, I'm going to do some tests recording with and without Audacity, which I'm using right now, which is getting rid of the horrible noise you always hear. Well, you used to hear before episode 21, I think it was. So ho hopefully I don't have to use that, because that will save me way loads of time editing. You know, I have to sync the freaking voice and mouse clicking with the actual game uh well the game animation you know and that takes forever and of course you get to the point where it's like it's like half a second off rage <laughs> <sighs> yeah should be pretty sweet right also one thing i do want to do is maybe replace that with the darker logs i think it would look better with sandstone and i am getting these logs you know i will need them uh, i'm probably going to need them for wooden flooring because how the flooring is going to go is we're going to have the floor right we'll have a roof we'll have the ceiling of the the floor that you're on you'll have a gap so i can put like toggleable lights in there if i wanted to then we'll have the floor, like the next floor. So you can have floor and ceiling lights if I wanted to. It's going to take a lot of wood and a lot of time, but when it's done, it's going to look sweet. Anyway, night is uh, coming in on us, so let's make sure we picked up all these little droplets here so they don't despawn, even though they probably won't. Um, go fly. See, I think probably going to... I don't know, I, I think I'm probably going to end the episode in a minute, because I don't have a super high amount of time to, rec really did I fall in there, to, uh, to you know, get it uploaded. Um, so, I suppose it's another random one. Uh, yeah. So I guess I can say, uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you don't mind some random episodes here and there, where we just get a couple little things done. Uh, I will continue to try and get my hands on uh, nether skelly thingy skulls. And then, hopefully, I'll have some for next episode, which will be on Sunday. Because I'm out tomorrow all day with my dad. Uh, and hopefully, we can um, have a nice fun fight for the next episode. I will make somewhere suitable to put the damn thing so he doesn't trash everything but what i want is his nether star 
that thing beacon block and then we can have like a, a cool looking laser beam going to the ceiling or the sky which is kind of one of the reasons why i want one i think they look awesome so yeah thank you all for watching and uh catch you all next time